What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon. Welcome to this week's Comic Call. It's gonna be a super short haul today. Today was pretty much the day. I rocked up and I had no books. Applaud. But I did pick up a book anyway uh, that I don't have on pre-order. Uh, and I got some mail call and there's still stuff to show you but we're gonna keep it pretty brief. Oh, and I guess since there's no books to show you, I guess I'll make an announcement as well. Let's do this. So the countdown begins. This is the fourth last episode of this series. For the reason I just explained, I mean, I'm getting less and less books and there will be weeks where um, I have nothing to show you. I'll show you what I got today. And obviously Sarah picked, in fact, <laughs> Sarah picked up more books than me today. She picked up two, I picked up one. So I actually cut Batman from my uh, pull list, but I figured it was a book that Mark would always have on the shelf anyway It is one of the few books that he does get regularly anyway And it's something that I guess I don't really want to fall behind on because even though I'm really behind I didn't finish um, Williamson's run and then I started I think the first one or two issues of Zadarsky's and I haven't read since then Look one day I might be in the mood for Batman so I wouldn't mind having it all so this is issue 140 which came out uh, today for us I actually really dig that cover. Uh, Joker punching Batman in mid-air. It's actually a pretty cool cover. So uh, I picked that one up. And then Sarah picked up two books. Um, this one here, I can't remember if I picked this up. This is a Merca and Dolfo Betty Page cover. I believe this is an old, oh, actually it's not that old. Um, but Sarah went on to previews and basically went and ordered a whole bunch of Merca and Dolfo covers, uh, and Luana covers, Rose Besh, all her favorite artists. She just went and found as many covers as she could by those artists and ordered them. So that's one there. And then she also picked up this Poison Ivy issue 17. Uh, now this is a random pickup for Sarah because Luana Vecchio is actually doing some interior art for this. So we'll show you Luana's art. So that's Sarah's favorite shit right there. Um, so Sarah actually picked that up to read. And then I also picked up my Something's Killing the Children shirt, which I didn't pick up last week. Oh, I might wear that tomorrow. If you guys want to see what it looks like, you can check out last week's episode because I showed Sarah's one. So that's all we got from Big City today. Pretty small haul, like I said. Um, but again, I do have some mail call and I guess I'll make an announcement. I was going to make a separate video for this announcement, but I figured there's no books to show you today, so I may as well announce it today. But before I show you the mail call, Shout out to Old Wolf. This week, uh, I am going to shout out Bottom Tier Collector. Uh, he actually, I watched his video the other night. He did uh, it's like 10 gun covers. So I've seen a lot of people doing these uh, cover challenge videos, kind of like what Bearded, Bearded and Cole were doing like a year or so ago. Uh, I don't know what actually happened to Bearded and Cole's cover challenges, but uh, someone's been doing a whole bunch of cover challenges recently. Uh, I saw people doing yellow covers. And yeah, Bottom Tier Collector did gun covers, so he shows off a bunch of gun covers. So I'll leave a link to Bottom Tier's uh, video in the description below. Check him out and make sure you subscribe if you're not already. All right, what did I get here? This book came from Charlie from Bulldog Comics. He's a cool dude who I've met recently. Uh, he's like um, one of the sellers at all the comic fairs and comic shows down here. Uh, and I've been really chatting with him as of late. Uh, he was really friendly to me at the recent Yarraville Comic Fair where I was selling. So uh, he's one of the guys, you know, I didn't actually, hadn't really met him properly until that day. And he's just a real friendly guy, loves to have a chat. I actually bumped into him again this, uh, just this weekend past, I went to a record and comic fair. I, I will have a video come out for that soon. And Charlie was there, we had a bit of a chat and there was nothing there that I actually bought. So I ended up buying this. This was actually listed on his eBay store. And I mentioned to him, hey, you know, do you wanna, I wouldn't mind getting this book off you. Uh, if you wanna do it maybe, uh, you know, on the side. Don't worry about those Feebay fees. So this book is somewhat of a key. I actually used to have this book when I was a kid. And I obviously no longer have it. And it's a book that, I don't know, it's just a book, if I could get it cheap, I would get it cheap. Now this is a really low grade copy of this book. Charlie had it for $20 and he said it is low grade and you can tell by the picture that it's it's pretty trash. Uh, and he said he'd do it to me, for me for 15 bucks. So I was like, yeah, 15 bucks sounds pretty good to me. I still remember where I bought this. I bought this from the newsagent when I was a kid. I didn't realize the significance either. So I've seen this book many a times uh, in my years of collecting, but I didn't actually realize that it was the first Simpsons comic book. 
So there's that there. Yeah, I, I remember having this, uh, buying it from the newsagent back in the day. I did used to buy Simpsons Bongo comics I had. I still have my Radioactive Man one from back in those days. Uh, I repurchased Simpsons issue one for some reason. Again, I just had this weird nostalgia. I'm not a massive, massive Simpsons guy, but I feel like anyone my age at some point in their life was probably a big Simpsons fan because The Simpsons was like, it took the world by storm and there's just a lot of memories even though, like I said, I couldn't care less really. So once South Park came out, it really, I didn't really watch Simpsons very often. I still did from time to time because I had friends who were obsessed with Simpsons so you still watch it but I, I guess South Park really took over uh, from The Simpsons for me. But again, this was a bit of a nostalgic purchase and for $15, I just feel like one day The Simpsons will be long gone and Simpsons stuff will be very collectible. I think it's gonna really uh, be something that we look back on one day once it's gone. So I don't know, is it still around? I don't know. I know South Park's still going somehow. So yeah, that's the Simpsons and shout out to Charlie. Uh, his Bulldog comics on eBay. I'll leave his uh, eBay store name here if you wanna check out Charlie uh, if you're local. So shout out to Charlie for that book. All right, that's all the books. So what do I have to show you? Uh, well, I've finally decided to bite the bullet and put some merch up on the internet. So I actually have started a Redbubble store. I will leave a link to it in the description below. I don't know if it even works, but I think it does because I've ordered some stuff just to just to make sure it works. So obviously I think I've got a few designs at the moment. I've obviously got the classic Simple Simon logo uh, done by my mate Jake Milne. There's two versions of it. There's the normal one, which is actually a smaller logo. So on the t-shirt, you'll see it's actually just like the, uh, on the breast pocket sort of where the uh, logo is. And then there's the large logo, which is obviously a much larger one for your t-shirts. Uh, but obviously there's other things you can get it on. You can get it on a mug or whatever it is that you want. I didn't make every option available, just things that I think I wanted as merch. But originally the reason I held off for so long is because I always want to do merch myself. I always want to get the t-shirts printed myself, send them out myself, but I've realized how, A, how much work that is, but B, for people overseas, it's just not worth it. Uh, when you buy from Redbubble, uh, it basically just comes from a print printing place wherever you, wherever you are. So if you're in the States, um, there's no point in me you know, you, you don't buy it from Redbubble Australia, you buy from Redbubble and it'll just come from the States. So you don't pay that overseas shipping. So I bit the bullet and thought, you know what? Let's just, let's just let Redbubble do all the work. So the classic Simple Simon logo um, is available. Shirts, stickers, whatever it is uh, that's available there. I didn't make pins available because I wanted there to be something that was unique. And that's my pins that I have. Uh, I need to get more made by my friend, but uh, pins are unavailable because I still want, yeah, I still want something to be kind of collectible in a sense. Not that people give a shit about me, but you know, just in case. Then I've got the Samaro uh, designs done by Iggy Ignacio. Uh, so I've actually got some sticker samples here to show you. This is the first one there. Sarah actually picked up the transparent stickers. I didn't do that because I'm not smart. Uh, this is the other design. Um, so now those love hearts, I added that myself. So this one here is kind of like a Iggy and Simple Simon collab, you know? I just added some emojis there for the hearts. And then Sarah bought these just to check out what the glossy, uh, sorry, the transparent ones look like. And obviously you can get different sizes. Those designs are available. Um, I also have um, two hashtag Lickworthy ones. If anyone wants to uh, wear a hashtag Lickworthy shirt or sticker, um, there's two designs there available. And then I've got one which is a little bit more unique. And I actually have a t-shirt sample here to show you. I haven't seen what this looks like, so I was pretty excited to put this design up there. Oh man, that's super cool. <laughs> so I wanted to have a June June uh, image on my Redbubble store. So this is also available uh, in all types of forms. Uh, this is the prototype June June. Uh, T-shirt, uh, the design I called it Junjun Forever. This is, I used to have a lot of fun with Junjun with Snapchat. Uh, if you followed me back in my Snapchat days, I had all kinds of things going on with uh, Junjun there. So this was a uh, Junjun with a cool filter uh, on her wearing the cap and the sunnies. Uh, yeah, and I really wanted, uh, I basically thought I wanted to print this on a shirt for myself. 
Did my glasses die? Yeah, my glasses died and we're not recharging them today. And then I thought, you know what? It'd be cool to maybe, I think that's a funny image. If you like cats, I just think that's a funny, funny image. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd print that and immortalize June June because uh, she definitely was just a big part of my life. And um, yeah, I still miss her a lot. So that is June June on a t-shirt and you too can have a June June on a t-shirt, on a sticker. I think you can even get a cat mat. <laughs> There's all kinds of things. So um, I'll leave a link to the Redbubble store in the description below. Please let me know in the comments if the link works, if you do check it out. And um, yeah, I figured it's about time. So uh, if you do buy anything from there and you get it, please send me photos and I can share it to people. Be like, the simple verse is growing. All my some minions, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Uh, hopefully that didn't take too long to get through all that. Uh, again, there's only three more episodes left of this week's comic haul. Next week, I should definitely have some books. The week after, who knows? I might not have any books to show you. And then we're gonna wrap it up in the final week of the year. Mark will be closed that week, so I definitely won't have any books that week, but I figured I'd use the final episode just to look back on the last few years of uh, showing you guys my books every week so yeah if you guys are still watching this video i appreciate you make sure you show some support hit that thumbs up leave a comment subscribe and until next time i'm simple simon tell your friends and keep it simple <laughs>